Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you my Echo Park Clubby P May 2021 final projects video where I use the rest of my scraps to make some albums, cards, and tags. So welcome back. If you've been watching this series, this is the May 2021. This video is the final project using the Summer Collection by Cardabella. This was in my May Echo Park Clubby P box. I have, I have I think, seven other videos before this. Um, and this is all that I have remaining. I have some adhesive brads, just a few of those you see there um, a few enamel dots really pretty just a few left though um, I do have almost the entire roll of washi and then I have lots of these tags these are the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet of tags that I cut up and then these are the little stamps I have a few of these left that I also cut up from the 12 by 12 I had two uh, packs of ephemera but I only have about one left and it's a partial and then I did use up the entire six by six paper pad and then I do have still about half of the chipboard accents uh, left from this kit. And then I do have uh, several of the cut aparts and then as well as a lot of little scraps. Mostly they're branding strips, but I do have some scraps and they're all different sizes. Uh, some are strips and some are more bigger chunks of paper. And then I do have, um, I did end up using the entire 12 by 12 sticker sheet or one of them. I do still have a whole nother 12 by 12 sticker sheet. If you saw my previous videos, you know that I purchased a second 12 by 12 kit along with an extra six by six paper pad and lots of cut aparts. You see here, I have still a ton of these cut aparts left over that I'll be trying to cut up and use some more of the tags. Here are the four by four cut aparts. So I had added some pieces into this kit, which is why this kit has really stretched so much for me. Um, you m most likely won't be able to stretch it as long as I did, only because again, I pretty much doubled my kit whenever I first was purchasing. And then again, here's some more repeat three by four cut aparts. These will be perfect for cut apart cards. And then a few more sheets of the 12 by 12 paper. So I had almost a full 12 by 12 kit left over, um, about half a pack of ephemera, just a few little brads and enamel dots, um, and then about half a pack of chipboard pieces, and then a few other little cut up, fussy cut items. And here's the last of the 12 by 12 sheets. So that's what I have left to use uh, to make as many projects as I can, which I'm going to make off camera and then be back in just a second and show you. So here's my progress in smashing the kit so far. I showed you this right before. This is what I had already previously used up. And then let me show you what I was able to use up for today. So I did end up finishing off all of those little cut up stamps, the enamel dots, the brads, the second set of 12 by 12 stickers. Um, I also finished off the second pack of ephemera, the chipboard accents. You see here, I have none left. And then all of the, the larger sheets of paper that were, I had remaining. Now I do have a few scraps and things left over. Here's what I had remaining that I'll put back in my stash. These are those tags. I had purchased a few extra sheets of those, so I do not feel bad about putting this back. The washi, I used up a ton of the washi, so I don't feel put, bad putting that back in. And then this is mostly just some scrap strips and some of the branding strips. I will likely cut these up later and add them into the cards uh, for some additional just to use them up but I'll do that later so this was again my Echo Park May box um, the first thing I made were these two easy six by six albums um, and these are little pocket albums and this was inspired by a tutorial uh, by Amber who is Lyric Lover Crafts here on YouTube I basically just added an extra little pocket to the front and I stuffed them with some of the cut aparts um, and decorated with some of the embellishments and it's kind of neat because it's a little six by six album I was able to use up this picture which was my inspiration um, and then I basically just stuffed them with some more cut aparts on the inside so it has two pockets one on the front one on the inside um, and then a sticker on the back so again this is a six by six in size um, and then I did make a second one where I end up having a vertical pocket on this one where I had a horizontal on the other one so I kind of show both methods on this one or I end up having both both types um, I am going to continue this series um, 
with my July box that I just received. I'll link that video down below for the unboxing. Um, and I am going to be making this project for my very first uh, project one of the July 2021 Cubby P box. So stick around for that. That should be coming out here shortly. I'm in the middle of filming that right now. So I made two of these albums. Again, I will show you how to make these in just a bit on my next video with the new box. I also made six scrap or layered scrap tags. Uh, this was basically what I had left over and I just added them to some tags. I got lucky and had some pretty good decent sized scrap papers and then I just turned them into tags at the top and then just layered some items on them. These are perfect just to add to like a mini slimline card base and you're good to go. Um, I also had a bunch of these four by four cut apart so I made these four and a quarter by four and a quarter cards. The card base is four and a quarter by eight and a half. You fold it in half, uh, score it, and the crease it and then you just add a four by four cut apart it was super easy super basic um but I, because the paper is so gorgeous you really don't have to add very much to these um and i haven't done it yet but basically i'll just use my uh we are memory keepers the envelope uh punch board and i'll make some coordinating envelopes so this the, i also made 24 a2 size cards i was able to use up these cut aparts i use up some of the uh the uh, chipboard pieces as well i also uh popped up some of my cut, uh, ephemera and then you do see there that I add washi into each of these cards and that's how I was able to use up the majority of my roll of washi some of these I kept flat you can see there some of them I did pop pop some up with some dimension or with those chipboard pieces that's actually a scrap piece of paper from a, a, another summer kit by echo park that i had in my stash i saw i had a couple of those little strips i cut them down to size and added them in now one trick that i did to make this collection stretch was i only did a four by four of the pattern paper on each of these there's another scrap strip that i included I only included a four by four and then what I did was I added some additional scraps of like solid cardstock like you see here um, or the scrap paper that I had in my collect in my in my stash so that way I could kind of make the real pretty pattern paper stretch and then in some cases I did have some scraps that were already in strips and I just added them on just like this so that was my Echo Park Club EP that was my May 2021 kit is now smashed thanks for visiting everyone hope you subscribe like this video follow me on Instagram happy crafting and I hope you check out all the other videos in this series.